Previously, we welcomed the arrival of the pin-tailed Wida at De Hakim's aviary. However, it turns out that the pin-tailed is not the only Wida was brought to De Hakim's aviary. There is still one more bird of the Wida species that is no less beautiful. The Paradise Wida or Long-Tailed Paradise Wida. And now Irfan and his team will release the bird to accompany the pin-tailed Wida. It's the aviary! Before we enter the moment of releasing the Paradise Wida, let's go back for a moment to take a look at the pintailed Wida. Guys, some time ago, we missed the moment when one bird ran away. We haven't let him go yet, but they have already run away. What's the bird's name? Pintailed Wida. That pintailed Wida is there. Their hobby is perched in areas of waterfalls and damp. Yes, this pintailed Wida is male. Well, we also have friends. But what kind of bird is this? What's his name, Goose? This is Paradise Wida. Oh, if the bird that was previously pintailed Wida. What about this bird? Paradise Wida. Where did these two birds come from? Africa. They're so incredible. They are small birds but very long tails. That's right. Are they both male? Both are male. What about the female? They are a bit hard to find. But, the female's tail is very short. The color is also different. The color is similar to that of a weaver bird. Next, we release the Paradise Wida. One, two, three. It turned out to be flying there. Okay, we'll see. They won't fight, will they? Hopefully, it won't. Paradise Wida or Vidua Paradisea. Paradise Wida or Vidua Paradisea is a bird from the Viduidae family. The same as the pintailed Wida. As Kong Opi mentioned, male and female Paradise Widas have striking differences in their physique. Please remember that their appearance is almost similar and difficult to distinguish. During the mating season, the male Paradise Wida begins to change. Their heads, wings, backs, and tails turn black. Their chest is rust brown, the nape is yellow, and the belly is cream. Their tails will lengthen. Their body length is originally only about 13 to 15 centimeters, and their tail is very short. However, their tails can extend up to 36 centimeters or more in the mating season, almost three times their body length. Paradise Wida includes birds that do not have the habit of migratory. They are common in southern and eastern African areas. Especially in savanna areas. Grasslands. Open forests overgrown with shrubs or acacia trees. They do not like wet areas and prefer dry places. Especially during the mating season. Paradise Wida often roams, jumps, and scratches the ground with their feet simultaneously. They do that, of course, to find their food, such as seeds, grass seeds, and insects. Then, using their powerful dark beaks, they would destroy their meal before devouring it. Paradise Wida females tend to be quiet and rarely make sounds. However, the case is different from the male Paradise Wida. Apart from their beautiful appearance, many bird lovers love and maintain male paradise widas because of their voice. The male paradise wida is endowed with a long and varied singing voice. In addition, 
the male paradise whiter can imitate the sounds of other birds. They will combine their original chirping sound with the chirping of different birds they imitate during the mating season. Yes, when the mating season arrives, the male paradise whiter has a habit of hovering, dancing, and singing in front of the females perched on the treetops. Then the female paradise whiter will determine whether the male paradise whiter is the right partner based on two options. First, from the voice that is heard by the male paradise whiter. Second, from the feathers of the male paradise whiter and their dance attractions. Paradise whiter is a polygynous bird. Male paradise whiter can mate with many females. Like the pin-tailed whiter, the paradise whiter is a parasite brood. After mating, male paradise whiter will take their partner to another bird's nest that its inhabitants abandoned. Then, the female paradise whiter will release one to five eggs in the nest. The host birds they frequently target are finches, particularly the green-winged pytilia. However, the paradise whiter never destroys the host's eggs, they just put the eggs between them before going somewhere. After the mother of the green-winged pytilia returns home, she will find additional eggs on top of the nest. But she wouldn't have noticed that the extra eggs belonged to the paradise whiter because they were the same color and size. The mother will then incubate the foreign eggs in their own for 11 to 13 days. After the eggs hatch and the pytilia and paradise whiter chicks are born, the babies will begin their mimicry. Not only do they imitate mouth markings and patterns, they even replicate the voices of their stepbrothers. And because their voices are louder than green-winged pytilia babies, they will be given priority. The imitation of the green-winged pytilia sound will continue until paradise whiter grows up. During the mating season, Female Paradise Wida even uses voice imitation ability as an assessment indicator for choosing a partner. For example, if the sound of the male Paradise Wida is more similar to the voice of the host who raises the female Paradise Wida, the greater the chance that they will be chosen as a partner by the female. The Paradise Wida habitat preference is influenced by the green-winged Pytilia, which likes dry places. This sign shows how dependent the paradise white is on the green-winged pytilia to care for and raise their young. The abundance of the paradise white population in the wild in Africa also indicates that many green-winged pytilia has increased paradise white chicks. Apart from that, the paradise white is a bird that likes to socialize. They are often foraging and perching on trees together, both in small and large groups. Even so, male paradise whites will turn fierce during the mating season. They will chase other male birds of the same species to reduce competition for a mate. They often fight to the death. That's all information about Paradise Wida. Hopefully, this video can be helpful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.